Election 2010 on the Gold Coast. I'm Dean Gould, the editor of the Gold Coast Bulletin. I have with me political commentator and lobbyist Graham Stark and uh, former ALP candidate and one of the heavyweights of the party on the Gold Coast, Michael Reardon. Uh, thank you for coming along, gentlemen. Thank you. The uh, situation for the Labor Party is not good at the moment, Michael. Uh, uh, it looks, it mm. looks uh, like a 9% swing uh, in Queensland against the party. And locally, we uh, have Ford in a lot of trouble. Brett Raguse, the, uh, the first team member there, he won uh, under the, the mm. Rudd coming to government. Uh, will he hold on to that seat? Well, I think it's going to be very difficult for, for Brett. I mean, he won with a very big swing last time. He won against the odds, as it were, and there was always a danger that if there were a swing in Queensland, which apparently there is, uh, he was going to be in some risk of losing that seat. I think it's a shame. He's a great, he's a hard-working candidate, and that may still hold up if the, if the Green preferences, they've got a very high vote, do flow his way. The Green vote looks like being about 14%, but what we're seeing is uh, perhaps a donkey vote where the, the Greens are at the top of the ballot paper, the uh, Liberal uh, LNP's on number two, and there's actually preferences flowing from the Greens to the mm. LNP. And that could happen when you've got a protest vote, you know, when, when people are serious about parking their vote with the Greens and aren't too concerned about where the second preferences may go, a donkey vote may come into play. That will hurt Brett. Uh, it would be a shame if he were to lose his seat on a ballot draw. Graeme, is it a vote for the Greens? Does it mean that uh, Australians are suddenly um, uh, more environmentally friendly? Or is this a, a political um, action that has nothing to do with the actual policies of the Green Party? I personally, personally hope it's not a vote for the Greens. I think it's Labor people upset about uh, changes in policy on climate change, changes in policy around asylum seekers, parking their vote with the, the party to their left. Yep. And I think, as Michael mentioned earlier, I think you'll see green preference flowing much more strongly to Labor in the final analysis. So some of those seats currently where Labor looks to be a bit behind the, behind the mark, I think they still might get over the line to a stronger than normal green preference flow. But I think you know, there's, a, there's a range of people that have gone to the nearest party on their left, and that's the Greens. Yep. And we see, uh, since the redistribution, Ford actually comes right down into the, uh, the main part of the Gold Coast now. Mm. That probably would have uh, given Brett Raguse a bit more confidence, but uh, Bert Van Manen looks like he uh, could pick up that seat for the LNP, a former Family First uh, candidate. Yeah, yeah and I think probably six months ago, nobody would have thought that were really possible. I mean, Brett's a very hard-working member, as I said, and, and has, a, has a good degree of personal support. But when the swing is on, the swing is on, and it seems like all around Brisbane, uh, the Labor Party is not doing as well as we might have hoped. Uh, it may well be cancelled out by what happens further south. Uh, note that Eden Monero looks like being held for Labor, the traditional seat that goes with the government, and that there may be one or two picked up in Victoria. This is going to be a very close election. The polls haven't been lying. Uh, the political leaders haven't been lying. It's going to be extremely close. I'm still hopeful that I, on Sunday morning we'll wake up and Julia Gillard will be the Prime Minister. Lastly, at the other end of the Gold Coast, uh, we have the seat of Richmond in northern New South Wales. Justine Elliott, the Labor Minister for Ageing, looks like holding on to that one despite a swing. Mm. Graeme, uh, does she, uh, we, yeah, that, that surprise you at all? No, I think you know the swings are against Labor in, in Queensland and, and in Western Sydney. The question now is, can Tony Abbott become Prime Minister uh, off the back of results in Victoria, South Australia and Western Australia? My feeling is we'll be waiting for the last couple of seats in Western Australia to know that answer. And I, I know Justine well, and I'm not surprised that her, strong, her vote is very strong. She's extremely hard-working and, and very well-liked in the electorate. Well, she certainly had a, a smaller swing against her than, than others, so mm. uh, that's some consolation. Mm. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you. We'll be back soon. Thanks, Dave.